Hey everyone, it's day 171 and today I'm going to be talking about Farah's album and her songs and her music and this is a response to my Really Farah Really video that I made at like 2 o'clock in the morning and I was bored and I was feeling video response EE -E, and I decided hey why don't I make a video. Farah from Teen Mom, Farah Abraham, she decided hey I'm just gonna do a music career and she released two songs so far. Well, two that I've heard. And I originally saw her, or heard her music on the Yahoo article that said how terrible her song was. So I'm like, it can't be that bad. So I clicked on it, expecting it to be better than it actually was, and then it sucked. It sucked so bad. The beat and the words do not match up, and the lyrics do not make any sense. When I was reading it on um, a lyric video... I didn't understand what she was talking about. I knew that she was talking about going on the freeway and stuff, but I didn't know really what her message was. Because her song is called Finally Getting Up From Rock Bottom, but when you listen to the lyrics, I don't think it has anything to do with rock bottom. She released another one, and it was called The Phone Call That Changed My Life, and it was um, not as popular as the other one, but it was still really bad. And um, the lyrics had nothing to do with the phone call. I'm assuming that maybe it's when she got found out that she was pregnant, but the song had nothing to do with a phone call or something changing her life. Farah, I mean, I give you props for being motivated to actually have a music career and to release singles and to release an actual album, which I don't think anyone will buy. Um, but seriously, I think that she should just stick to Teen Mom because this is really hurting her career and people are getting really hateful towards her and her music. And people are saying that it is worse than Rebecca Black's Friday, and it actually is to me, because Rebecca Black, you can actually tolerate her vocals, but Farah, you don't know what the hell she's talking about. So, uh, yeah, that's my review, I guess, and um, to all the Farah Abraham fans, I still like Farah, but I just don't know. And it's also kind of ironic that her song is called Finally Getting Up From Rock Bottom, but I think she's going to be in rock bottom for a while now due to these songs whatever. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 172 and TRS is out. See you later, people.